Hello people, I want to show you around some amazing cameras and some amazing microphones. This is the equipment that I use to produce my content. But before we do that, I find that it's better to field test this equipment. So without further ado, let's take you out into the field and show you how they really perform. Hello people. Right, so, uh, see if I can get this right. I've got two hands with two cameras in them. Uh, one of them is the Sony AX33 and the other one is the CX450. So, um, ah, <laughs> yeah, forgotten about that. The Sony AX33 uh, has got a Rode microphone with a windshield on it at the moment and the Sony 450, CX450 doesn't, it's just using its standard microphones and camera. So uh, let's, uh, let's just go for a quick walk. It's the missus behind me. And um, let's see what the optical stabilization's like on the AX33. My understanding is the optical stabilization is very good on that uh, versus on the CX450. All right, and then what we'll do is we'll just uh, pop the microphone, pop the uh, uh, pop the windshielded microphone off. To, right, all right, so uh, both cameras are now running on their internal microphones. So uh, I don't know what the internal microphone's like on the Sony. The AX33 is heavy, um, whereas the CX450 is very small and light. The AX33 is a 4K unit whereas this is only high def, a 1080p. I think this one will go up to 60 frames a second, whereas this one will do 24, 25 frames a second. I have now got the giant squid on my lapel, just here. Do, 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 do. And I'm using the AX33 camera. So uh, I wonder what the audio is like with the giant squid. Uh, it's a little bit windy, a little bit breezy out here today. And uh, so I'm just gonna go for another little bit of a walk. This thing is heavy in the hand. It really is a bit of a lump in comparison to the CX450. So uh, anyway, yeah, see, uh, see what the audio is like with the giant squid on. Cool. So here we have the Sony FDR AX33 4K resolution ultra HD camcorder. So there's many, many little cubby holes as you can see here. This one specifically is for microphone in, headphones out, and there's a little multi-connector down at the bottom there. Uh, the microphone on this camera doesn't come as standard. One thing that is really very, very cool is that little USB port there which is connected into the handle. You can use that for uh, charging your camera and also for transferring data. So I'm just going to go ahead and pop this uh, a Rode microphone off. We'll have a look at the Rode microphone a little bit later in the video. On the top there's a wonderful little hot shoe where you can fit lighting, extra microphones and other ancillary equipment. Again that's protected by a cover. You've also got here uh, your zoom controls and uh, a photo button. And then on the top here uh, it's uh, telling you about its balanced optical a steady shot system which effectively is a gimbal. We'll get into that in a moment. And then there's plenty of microphones around this bad boy uh, suggesting that it can cope with Dolby 5.1. The manual ring on the front of it here gives you the ability to be able to change focus, iris, um, film speed. It's fantastic. And then, as you can see, there's an automatic shutter and uh, you can see that gimbaled uh, steady shot working its magic there in that Zeiss lens. So the menu system is a very simple menu system on this camera, um, as it is with all of the Sonys that I've played with so far. And uh, on, the, on the panel here, uh, underneath the cover, is the memory stick and SD card slot. And then under the other cover is a small port for uh, HDMI. Now you've got a power button, night mode, which is quite good fun, a playback mode, and also voice cancelling. So the voice cancelling works so that when you're standing behind the camera, uh, it uh, cancels your voice and focuses in on other people's voices. And with this camera, you have replaceable battery, and uh, it's quite a big, chunky, hairy battery. Lasts about two hours on this machine. Now, the other great feature that you have here is you have a viewfinder, which when you pull that viewfinder back, uh, it opens the lens on the camera, 
as you can see there. Uh, which ultimately, that viewfinder means that you can operate the camera when it's very bright, and that viewfinder doesn't use up so much battery. Now on the bottom, you've got your standard uh, a tripod-style mounting uh, screw thread, and uh, I've obviously got a quick release on there. But in general, uh, the camera is absolutely magnificent. It's a joy to use. It's a little bit heavy compared to the other camera that I'm going to show you in a moment, but it is absolutely jam-packed full of features. So that said then, let's have a look at the VideoMic Go microphone from Rode. And there's that hot shoe mount with its little uh, screw thread that uh, uh, clamps it down. A little curly-whirly cable which plugs into the back of the microphone and uh, also some good suspension there in order to reduce uh, the amount of noise isolating bumps and bangs when you're handheld shooting. So um, it comes with a bit of a dead cat, that's the technical term <laughs> for the windshield and um, it takes all of its power from that cable there. The other microphone that you saw featured in this video was the Giant Squid. Now this has been slightly modified by myself. I 3D printed a little ring for it so that I could fit some larger windshields on it. But this has got a, uh, again takes all of its power from the, uh, from the cable, from the plug. Um, has a little uh, a crocodile clip on it so you can click it, clip it onto your, onto your collar. And um, has a good length of cable with it as well. So uh, quite a useful microphone to have in your toolbox. So let's also go ahead and have a look at the Sony HDR CX450 high def camera that we were using earlier. So this has been the workhorse for most of my movies up until I upgraded to the AX33. And um, I will say it's been absolutely magnificent. It's small, it's light, it's compact, and it has all the features you need, including, again, that magnificent little USB cable, which you can use to charge and also transfer data to and from it. Again, it, it really is super light and uh, very compact. Forgetting to close the shutter and getting dust and dirt in your lens is always a problem. But with these cameras, they automatically open and close those shutters. So you've got a zoom on this, an optical zoom of 30 times, and you've got a what's called a clear image zoom of 60 times. So again, that's a digital zoom. A couple of panels, again, you can plug a microphone into this, you can plug headphones into it, and uh, you have down here a SD card and a little multi-connector for various other bits. There's a button for local voice dampening, playback, and being able to switch it off with the screen still open. You will notice there's no viewfinder on this. And uh, also the um, menu again is very similar to the other camera's menu, sort of traditional Sony standard menu. So once you've gotten used to one of these, they're quite easy to get your, to get your head around. So uh, many different sensors, 9.2 megapic megapixels, this bad boy. And um, again, uses that same Exmor uh, sensor with an optical steady shot. And actually, um, uh, it performed quite well up against uh, uh, its ex more expensive rival, the Zeiss lens. And again, the same style um, zoom and, uh, and photo options. And you've got uh, the battery there that's uh, replaceable. And um, then you've got a, your start stop button for recording and also a power input for it as well. So I hope this video has been useful for you. Please don't hesitate to subscribe and give us a good old thumbs up for all the hard work it was going out and about in the cold weather reviewing these cameras and microphones. Again, for me, it's certainly been very useful doing this because now I know what setup works well. As always, thanks for watching. Take care and have a fabulous week. Cheers all.